Good morning, gladiators. Today is Monday. It is April 5th, and today we're going to start our new unit on ecosystems. So let's take a look at our week at a glance. So the first thing is uh, today we're reviewing biotic and abiotic and those levels of organization in an ecosystem. This goes back to sixth grade. On Tuesday, just a reminder, in-person students are displaced. Those of you who are virtual, we will be 100% asynchronous, so I will not be having any Zoom sessions for my class. However, you will have a link that you can join a help desk, and I will be manning the help desk. So on Tuesday, what you're working on is those relationships in an ecosystem, I'm talking about producer-consumer, uh, predator-prey, etc. So you're doing a modified one-pager for that day. On Wednesday, we're going to talk about food webs. This is more of a review from seventh grade, but even started back in elementary school. On Thursday, you are going to do food web practice. And then Friday, it's about competition. So with the competition, talking about what resources they need and how do they go about getting them. If you need assistance this week, Tuesday and Thursday are my days for academic coaching, but you can join any of those sessions. So now let's take a look at our folder for this week. So on Monday, this is what we're looking at. Oh wait, we have a new IMB. So we need to go back to our materials page and we're going to open up our new ecosystem IMB. So if you go to your science IMBs, you're going to find ecosystems. Some of you are still not completing these. You need to be taking care of these. Do them as we go through them in class. So I'm going to start right here. So if we go back into our folder, we have several pages actually that we're completing today. Now of those pages, uh, there's not a lot to be done. So the first part about biotic and abiotic, we're going to start on slide 8. So slide 8, is this is going to link you to textbook pages, but really out of this what we're trying to get is what is the definition of abiotic, what is the definition of biotic. On slide 9, I want you to identify in this picture what are the abiotic factors and what are the biotic factors. You'll write them into the box and then answer this question. After that, we're going to go into levels of organization. So when we talk about the levels of organization, we're talking about that building from organism all the way up to an ecosystem. Again, it's linked to textbook pages, and we have two post-its to complete. On slide 12, I need you to identify each of these vocabulary words. And for the vocabulary words, I need you to actually give me a definition. You're going to need these for your activity tomorrow. On slide 13, we're looking at the levels of organization. So I want you to give me examples of levels of organization from the Lion King movie. There's a little video clip to watch, and then you can identify. Once we've completed that, you do have a check for understanding of our abiotic, biotic, and levels of organization. So you'll answer those questions to the best of your ability. If you have any questions, let me know while you're working. You can always join us in Zoom, or you can message me, and I'll get back with you. I did update grades last night, and so everything should be current. Check your grades, see if I'm missing something, including your uh, IMB from astronomy. I have not graded the weather IMB, but everything else should be up to date. Have a great day, gladiators.